Good morning. I'm Nancy Hudson with Purdue Extension here in Fulton County, and I am the HHS Extension Educator. Today, Abby and I are going to make kind of a fancy breakfast oatmeal dish for you. And you know, breakfast is one of those meals that start your day off and everyone should eat breakfast. What'd you have for breakfast this morning, Abby? I actually had a banana and a piece of toast. Okay, so you see she got her fruit and she also got something from the grain group. And today we're gonna be working with dairy products with milk and yogurt. And we'll also be working with oatmeal, which is a grain product. Uh, research shows that kids especially need their breakfast because it helps them to be more creative it gives them a start for the day, makes them more energetic. It also sets their learning up for them and helps them to uh, concentrate and possibly learn more. And it also many times can help uh, kids avoid those behavioral problems that you sometimes see in school. Uh, adults need their breakfast as well because breakfast is just one of those things that makes you feel better and it helps you to get your day started. Plus with all of the nutrition, you just can't go wrong uh, by having breakfast. So what we're gonna do today is something that you can do the day before, put it in your refrigerator, and then the next morning just plop it in a cup and you are out the door with your breakfast. So the first thing that we're gonna do, this is called overnight banana oatmeal. And the first thing that we will do is open up a package of instant banana pudding and we're gonna add two and a half cups of milk to this. So I'll put this in. Two and, and a half. we will have Abby do our two and a half cups just as soon as I kill this pudding package here. <laughs> okay. One. Now while she's putting in the rest of the milk, I'll go ahead and take my whisk and stir this in. Remember, this is instant and it will Two. set up quickly. So if you don't have a fancy assistant like myself, how do you stir while you're still measuring? Well, what I usually do is go ahead and put my pudding mix in the, the bowl and then I go ahead and just put the milk in uh, and then I mix it. Okay. So it's no big deal. Now what you want to do, you just want to stir this and get it whisked together until it's smooth and you can, you can feel it thickening just a bit. And the next thing that I want to do is add my oatmeal. Now you use just quick cooking oats, you don't cook them. So we'll get this out at Abby, we need a cup of that. Okay. And all we're gonna do is just put our uh, quick oats into our pudding mixture. Now, the other thing that you can do if you do have younger kids at home, they could help you measure this, pour this into the bowl and even mix it up. So this can be something to get them involved and maybe make them want to, uh, yeah, go ahead, eat the breakfast. Especially if it's something that they made, they're gonna yeah, feel. Yeah, they're gonna feel more involved with mm -hmm. it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in. And the next thing, Abby, that we want to do is take this cup again and put a cup, it's plain Greek yogurt, just one cup of that. And we are going to put that in the mix as well. This is gonna give it the thicker texture. Right. Now, the one thing here about the uh, Greek yogurt, it is thicker than your ordinary yogurt. And in a sense, it can be used many times to substitute uh, for sour cream. So it is very thick. The uh, plain uh, has a strange sort of a different taste to it, I guess, other than uh, your regular yogurt. So don't think that it's spoiled it's just the way it is like you said it reminds me a lot of sour cream when i first had it but yeah. you do think compared to normal strawberry yogurt that it might be a little bit spoiled right so. 
it would be a good substitute for sour cream. Like yes, we discussed it, it would. And many times it has fewer calories and it'll give you the same taste like on a potato mm -hmm. or in a dip mm -hmm. uh, that the sour cream will. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is take a banana and we are going to slice this banana. Abby, we'll let Abby slice uh -oh. it. <coughs> Just in yeah, that's fine. little circles. Does it matter the age of the banana? I know sometimes when you cook you want to have a riper banana. This one is riper because I wanted more flavor. Mm -hmm. Is that how it goes? The older the banana, the more taste Yeah, it is? and older bananas will usually go in something like banana nut bread. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and dump this in. Okay, and you want to just stir that. And the key to this is just make sure that everything is put together and that you do have everything mixed in. Um, you want to be sure that your, uh, your yogurt is mixed completely mm -hmm. because you don't want to see clumps Sometimes in your dough. At the yeah. bottom if you don't use a mixer. Right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, this will have to be put into a refrigerator for overnight. And we, I'm going to set this aside. And then I do have one here that I did at home last night. And this will give you an idea of what this should look like. Uh, this is the way it should look. Now, after it has set, what you want to do is put in uh, some almonds. So just put those in. And let's see, I'll just use this. Uh, give it a little stir. So almonds go in the morning of? Uh, the morning of. Okay. Yeah. And you can see here that it is, it's very thick. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some here. And you will see Now, when we get that in, what you want to do is take some of your other uh, almonds and just lay those on top. Add some decoration. Too. Right. And when you look at this, go ahead and take a bite. Okay. When you bit. look at this, it, it may not look that appetizing, but it's really very good. Wow. And it's not sugary. It's, it's not got a, a, a bitter or strong flavor to mm -hmm. it. After overnight, it mixes well together. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. So the it. Oatmeal really helps. And the other thing, I think people think that because the oatmeal is put into the mixture dry, that it will have some type of a, a different effect mm -hmm. to the dish and see it doesn't. That's one reason why you want to soak it overnight, is to let that oatmeal kind of settle out. And it softens the oatmeal. Right. Right, right. No, I like without. that. I really could tell the pudding yeah. was a big mixture. Yeah, that and really see, good. it's got things in it that people do love. For one thing, it's got the bananas. You not only have the real bananas, but you do have the uh, pudding mix in there as well. Mm -hmm. And remember now, you have a fruit, you have an almond, uh, which is part of the protein group. You also have the dairy products, the milk, and the yogurt, and you have something from the grain products, the oatmeal. So if you want to try this, just give me a call at the office and we will send you this recipe. So I do hope you try it. Thank you. Thank you.